go on to the next. Ooh, I'm going to go to the green beans. All right. Okay. Now, I started heating up my pan, which it has to be heated up. This is what my friend Beulah told me. Um, I'm going to use fresh cumin seed today, which is not the easiest I found to work with. So I'm going to add oil. It's about two tablespoons of olive oil again um, to my pan. But in order for my cumin seeds to pop, um, I have to heat up my pan and then my oil has to get very hot also. Hey, Maria. Why? What is cumin seed? It's cumin, not cumin. Oh. <laughs> cumin. Cumin seed are these tiny little seeds. You can get powdered cumin or seeds. Drop your cumin seeds inside. It's about a teaspoon and you can hear them popping. If you hear them popping, what I wanted to do worked. Because if they don't pop, she told me that it will get very bitter. So now I'm going to add also ginger garlic. It's a, um, it's a mixture that I made. Oh, sorry. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay, about a tablespoon of your ginger garlic. And now I'm going to turn down my heat a little bit. Just get that in there, saute it. Ooh, see, they're popping all over me. It's working. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is add fresh green beans. Here they are. I'm going to throw them in there. It's about six cups of green beans. And during the summer, fresh green beans at the market are great. Okay. And just toss. Toss it in there. Toss, toss, toss. This cooks very quickly, very fast. <clears throat> it really has nice flavor. Hey, Maria, does it matter if you use fresh green beans or canned green beans? You're not listening to me because I just said that. Oh, okay. That's what my son doesn't do. He doesn't listen to me. <laughs> just kidding. He does. Um, yes, you can use fresh or frozen. During the summer, of course, it's easier to get fresh, nice big fat green beans which are great but it's chilly here so we don't have that all right just toss and toss i'm going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar to it which um gives it a little sweetness as we know what brown, brown sugar, sugar does brown sugar okay and just cook it up in there Make sure it's um, it cooks down. When you cook it down, it will create a, a light syrup over the top of your green beans. Okay. Now, that's cooking. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little, and I'm going to add lemon juice. That, I feel, kind of counteracts the, the brown sugar, but it's still... Um, it tones down the sourness of the lemon, but oh my tongs. But and takes away some of the sweetness. It's a nice blend together. I add some black pepper. And that can be as much as you want. Some people like it really peppery, some don't. Okay. And now I'm gonna put it in the serving bowl. Okay. Oh, lost a green bean again. Oopsie. This will go very nice with the pork. <clears throat> but like I also said, that the pork, you could serve it hot in a salad and even throw some warm green beans on it. Okay. And to top it off, again, my friend Beulah's sesame seeds that I'm stealing today. But you'll soon find out that I used them. So, just sprinkle it with some sesame seeds and I'm going to bring up my father again he can't have any seeds so if I would make this for him I would use cumin powder and I would skip the sesame seeds which it's okay hey Maria why can't he have seeds because his body can't digest them very well oh. and we're gonna stop right there okay 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 all right I'm gonna set this aside and now for the last thing um, I am going to make 
Sweet potato, baked potato wedges. Hmm, that makes sense. Okay, I cut my sweet potatoes up. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, oh my gosh. What, what was that? Um, that was a little parsley. Okay, we'll ignore that. Anyways, um, okay, so here you have it, your sweet potato. And I washed it, I scrubbed it very well. And you have some icks on there, just cut them off. I call them icks, I know. Some, just cut them off. But make sure your potato is scrubbed well. That's the important part. I cut my potato, my sweet potato in half. Then I just cut them into wedges. And your wedges can be fat or skinny, whatever you like. Isn't a, pota isn't a sweet potato a flowery? Uh, a flowery? Uh, yes. But no, it is not. It's just like a baked potato, but it's much more healthy for you and much higher in fiber. That's ah. why I chose to use the sweet potato. Okay, here, very simple, cut them up. First, I spray the bottom of the pan before I put these on with um, just a, a vegetable spray. And then <clears throat> on top, I spray them with garlic spray again, the... Um, just a nice olive oil garlic spray. And this is my sister-in-law Kelly's favorite. It's her recipe. She cooks this often for us and we love it. Very simple, very fast. Yes, this is the trick. Just sprinkle them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And you're going to place these in the oven, in the oven for 450, at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes. That's all it takes. Fresh out of the oven, here we have your sweet baked potato wedges. Just find a cute little platter, put them on. Even my kids like these. They don't know what they're eating. But see, this is um, a hot vitamin that you can eat, full of potassium and high in fiber. So it's great for you. Not only tastes good, but it's yummy. Okay. Sorry, a couple more here. There. And there you have it. And before you serve your pork, if you want just to drizzle a little more olive oil to give it a nice little juicy look, put a little more olive oil on it. Okay, there you have it. Your marinated grilled pork tenderloin, your very good for you, baked sweet potatoes right out of the oven, full of potassium and high in fiber, and your ginger garlic sauteed green beans, that's very tasty. So here you have it, your nice summer meal on a cold day. Thank you for joining Maria Rapino. <laughs>